Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, back from a two-week break, where, <coughs> you know, I'm gonna leave that in, because the funny part is, is that I went, um, I went on break, and then I got sick, <laughs> to the point where I was nauseous most days, just a little bit here and there after eating, and then when I got better from that, uh, about four-ish days ago, I started getting sinus congestion, and uh, and while it has mostly cleared up, uh, some of it has settled into my chest and throat. So now I gotta wait for that to go away. So um, if I sound a little different, that would be why. I spent most of the time uh, sort of relaxing, uh, writing a little, not a whole lot, and uh, and streaming games on Discord uh, on my uh, server Discord. Or my channel discord server um and also looking for ways to help the channel out a little bit but uh today we are moving back into dank memes and the first one i'm going to start mentioning these from the uh, when i actually do them or at least i'm going to try anyway uh the first one is by underscore shoulder underscore and i believe the first three are by this uh user researcher at site 88 hey i finally found that damn time scp6313 at that exact moment Just kidding, I didn't disappear into the ether. Uh, yeah, so uh, it, it seems that people enjoyed SCP-6313, which is nice. Another one by underscore you shoulder. The SCP Foundation on their way to stunt scientific developments by arbitrarily deciding certain sciences are anomalous. So this is something that I've actually um, understood for quite some time. Well, thank you for the honk. This is something that I've understood for quite some time. And in the end, a lot of what we consider to be, you know, normal today would have been considered black magic even a uh, hundred and fifty years ago. So, or maybe even sooner than that. So it be, it's a little bit difficult to decide what is and isn't normal and what is and isn't anomalous. <clears throat> anomalies are just things you don't understand yet. Except the anomalies are never really solved. I mean, there are a few explained SCPs, but I mean, I don't know. It seems like a silly way to approach uh, the creation of science. Like, they're supposed to be studying anomalies so they understand them. And then what? There is no... That's the... One of the few, like, overarching narrative issues with the SCP Foundation is that question. And then what? So you, you keep the anomalies in boxes you, you until you understand them. And some of them you're never going to understand. That I, under, that I understand. <laughs> in fact, the vast majority of them, you will. Even magic would operate under a specific set of rules and laws. And once you understand those rules and laws, it's no longer an anomaly. It's just how the universe works. That is just science. But the SCP Foundation never gets to the, and then what? And that's always bothered me a little bit. And as a writer, um, if it bothers me, I should probably just fix it by writing something that fixes the problem. SCP article. SCP dash insert number <laughs> object class. <laughs> oh my god, who the hell cares? Is uh, I don't really care about object classes. I know people like them for ease of categorization or whatever. But in the end, like, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? I mean, come on. Series 1 Murder Monsters. Cringe 3 a.m. clickbait YouTubers. Every other SCP. The Wanderer's Library stuff. Look, the mainstream wants what the mainstream wants. It's just like the heart wants what the heart wants. And if the SCP Foundation's content, if the if the, that particular type of content is the most popular content, then that's the most, the content that you're going to see on the channels. I've tried numerous times. I mean, and there are popular new articles by the way um <clears throat> and i think i think that's another approach that you can go towards doing it there are popular new articles and you can cover those articles as well but if you don't cover what people want to see people won't come to look and for the youtube game if people don't come to look you don't make enough money to sustain yourself period i am just just that close to not even being able to scrape by myself and i'm just a single person at a computer who records, or I should say writes, records, and edits all themselves. Can you imagine being somebody with multiple employees trying to make this work? Of course they're going to go for what's the most popular. These are people's lives you're talking about. 
does it suck? Yes. And also, I never read Wanderer's Library stuff. There's a bot on our uh, Discord that uh, links out to stuff, and it links out to um, the Wanderer's Library without telling you that it's Wanderer's Library. And I remember just every time I click it, I'm like, all right, close. Well, I really wish it would tell me before I clicked. That's all I'm saying. Some of that stuff on there is great. I just don't have time for both. Plus, the stuff on the Wanderer's Library tends to be short story length, so, you know. Sumerian takes two weeks off. Me. Good. Twice the weight. Double the memes. Twice the weight. Uh, I think this is only nine memes total. I think I counted that I saved out of it. There were a few. Uh, the last, but the last batch was super small. This is part of the reason why I didn't bother. I was going to make a video that day where I announced that I was taking that two week break, but the meme selection was so small because of the uh, protest, the blackout protest on Reddit that... I did. I, there wasn't enough for me to do, so I just said, you know what, fine, I'm just going to make an announcement video and then go dart for a couple weeks. And so mostly you've got just a few memes from last week mixed in with all of the memes from this week. Um, and uh, I think most of the memes from last, not last week, two weeks ago were were from Shoulder. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what it is. But I, I'm glad... That you're willing to wait and come back because I, I like doing these videos and I like that people like that I do these videos. SCP Foundation and GOC when a huge breach happens. SCP Foundation after the breach. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. GOC is a highly competent uh, organization with a lot of resources and men and manpower, so you can't really ignore them during uh, like all hands on deck situations. But at the same time, yeah. They, they have basically competing the only thing that they don't have competing views on is you know saving the world fundamentally they have just completely different approaches to everything you know i talked about this earlier but if you guys use reality bending and thaumaturgy then surely it must be considered a science and non-anomalous given non-anomal non-anomalous given that you understand it goc uh, scp foundation huh yeah, no, this is the uh, this is the and then what that I was talking about before. And uh, yeah, that's a thing. And I completely forgot. Oh, my God, that's funny. Oh, my God, that's funny. I completely forgot that the whole time I was supposed to be telling you who made each of the memes. That's that's great. I'm going to have to get better at that. I'm going to announce them all at the end of the video. That'll that'll just have to be what it is for this time around. Because uh, <laughs> I what I did was I saved the files with the usernames so I can see up in the upper corner there while I'm going through the thing. Who made each meme, but... Okay, anyway. Moving on. Anyway, is that the last one? Yes. That's <coughs> that the last one. So let's go over the listings. So the first three memes were shoulder. Uh, underscore, shoulder, underscore. And then uh, crusty cheese being. And then fanboy x27. And then guhu underscore zero underscore zero. And then... <coughs> human that might exist and then insert something here and then the clown was taken uh thank you very much for your memes and i will try to do a better job next time of announcing when i'm looking at the meme who created the meme uh because i think that's uh, i think that's just good practice not not good practice i'm not practicing something that is a good practice in in the, in the sense that it is a good thing to do um, and I should have been doing it, I think, from the beginning. <clears throat> anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, scroll down and hit the subscribe button. And then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian. And pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has. And I would like to say, <laughs> if you, I'm, 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 I'm going to do the thing. I got to do the thing. <clears throat> if you're capable of pledging on Patreon, please do so. I am dangerously close to going below $100 on Patreon, which is something I never imagined would happen. And I think part of this is on me also, because it's been going down consistently ever since I stopped offering um, <clears throat> both critique and writing assistance uh, as rewards. So... Uh, there's a strong possibility I'm going to come back and uh, re-examine what my rewards are, which right now is just special access on Discord. <coughs>
which right now is just special access on Discord and the joy of knowing that you're helping me out, which, uh, you know, that's kind of selfish of me. So that's something I'm going to take a look at and figure out a way to fix. Actually, a good question is, I'll, you know what, I'll ask this. In the comments down below, what kind of Patreon rewards do you think would make you willing to pr uh, actually pledge? And uh, I'm going to start looking at those comments and figure out, like, what you suggest and what I think is actually capable of me, my, what I'm actually capable of doing. Because this is important. Uh, getting that close to not being able to support myself uh, anymore. I mean, I know pa Patreon was a big chunk plus the ad revenue and ad revenue is down, too. So that's a whole other thing. If this is this has been consistent for a little too long. Uh, and the numbers for Patreon have just literally nosedive. I was that close to 500 um, a matter of months ago. I don't know how many, a lot of months, I think, but a matter of months ago. And now I'm down to almost below 100. So Patreon, please pledge if you can. It's very important. And uh, thanks for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I will see you all again on Thursday.